In the early 1940s, the U.S. was rapidly expanding the Army's Air Force in response to World War II. The War Department was acquiring land for the construction of numerous continental air bases around the country, sites to house and train the increasing number of personnel and aircraft. By 1942, the Walla Walla Army Air Base was constructed on the grounds of the current airport. As an active training airfield for B-17 and B-24 Liberator pilots, the airbase would produce 594 heavy bomber crews and train around 8,000 officers and enlisted men during the war. Some of the 300 original base structures still exist today, though it's difficult to imagine this relatively quiet area as it was back then. Luckily, a photographer stationed at the airbase documented the planes, people, and city during his time here. Technical Sergeant William Mock served as an Army photographer attached to the 357th Bomb Group at the Walla Walla Army Air Base from 1942 until early 1944. He sent home around 400 of his best photographs. Seven decades later, these photos would find their way into the Fort Walla Walla Museum's collection. Bill Mock was born on December 29, 1915 in Detroit, Michigan. After the bombing of Pearl Harbor, he volunteered for the military. By February 1942, he was a buck private in the U.S. Army at Camp Custer, Michigan. He was then attached to the 357th Bomb Group, stationed at the Fort Walla Walla Army Air Base. Here he was assigned to the photo lab as a photographer, a job he would hold for the duration of his service. His photographs from the tarmac and the air show planes ranging from the B-17 Flying Fortress to the P-51 Mustang. He saw storied planes like Suzy Q, a B-17 that survived four trips around the world and multiple battles with Japanese Zero fighters, as well as the airbase mechanics who worked hard to keep them running. There was a lot of activity to be captured. The day-to-day -day work on the base, bomber crew training exercises, officials arriving and departing, and soldiers always on the move. He bore witness to happy occasions, dances at the USO, and also somber ones. Major Gilmore presenting the Flying Distinguished Cross and Purple Heart to the parents of an airman killed in action. He was also creative, getting a shot of a soldier astride a bomb and setting up a trick photo, a double exposure creating two of the same sergeant at work. Additional images of downtown Walla Walla around 1943 provide a critical record of the city during this time. Old cars line the streets, and signs on the familiar buildings downtown advertise businesses that are now long gone. Troops parade down the street as spectators look on, and locals participated in scrap drives that supported the war effort. He also captured images of the Army's Macaw General Hospital, active from 1943 to 1946. Photos show injured soldiers recuperating in bed and congregating in the day room, providing a rare glimpse of the facility that would treat around 16,000 soldiers during its brief operation. Mach got his marriage to Henrietta Lewandowski on film. The wedding took place at the base chapel in 1942. The couple lived in Walla Walla until Mock was reassigned in early 1944. After the war was over, he continued his work as a photographer and even had a darkroom in his basement. William Mock passed away on May 30, 2007 at age 91. In 2015, his daughter called from Hawaii looking to donate her late father's photos. This donation, now the William Mock Collection, allows visitors a glimpse of life in wartime Walla Walla. Fort Walla Walla Museum is honored to preserve and share Mock's legacy, a piece of Walla Walla history that has traveled around the world and safely landed back home.